Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a review on the Revlon Lip Butters that I picked up. I have Juicy Papaya and uh, Candy Apple. So this is Juicy Papaya, this is Candy Apple. I like that the lid indicates the colour. Always very useful. So we'll start with Juicy Papaya. I initially wasn't overly fussed by this colour. I obviously liked it in the shop and I thought it'd be lovely on the lips. When I got it home, I didn't think it applied particularly well. It applied kind of bitty. So any little dry bit I had on my lip, it picked up on it and clung to it and made it quite obvious, which is just not, not cricket in my opinion. Um, and it also was a lot more sheer than I anticipated. So that's just a swatch of it on my hand. These are very creamy product, products and they do feel like they're benefiting your lips while they're on. Now I'm just going to remove my lipstick that I'm currently wearing and I'm gonna show you what um, they're like on my lips. So that's Juicy Papaya on my lips. And it doesn't show up massively, it just adds a bit of a peachiness to your lips. Let's zoom in slightly. Which isn't really showing up. This is the problem. I actually really, really like this now, but it doesn't show up on the lips. It more acts like it mutes it down slightly and adds a wee tone of peach to it without going, hey, I'm really peachy and pink and in your face. This is quite nice if you're doing something dramatic on the rest of your face and you want something soft but a wee touch of colour. I've come to really really like this um, and it is it is such a lovely colour for spring so if you're just wearing a really basic face this is quite handy to throw on as well. Um, you don't really have to think too much about applying it, it's so simple to apply. It is literally a lip balm really, it's a glorified lip balm but with a colour to it so it's tinted lip balm, um, just not in a pot. These do help, as I said, I, they, do, they do feel like they're doing something for my lips and they're quite nice. They don't last massively long, but I wouldn't expect them to. I sort of expect maybe an hour or two and then I'm going to have to reapply them, which is not unsurprising. The next one's Candy Apple. Love this one. Absolutely love it. This is fantastic if you're looking for a red to wear during the day, but you don't want a super intense colour because this is so sheer, it adds that red to your lips without being really, really in your face. So that's just a swatch of it there. And you can see this one actually has a bit more colour than the peach one. I've only done one or two swipes with this, whereas this one I had to really work it to get the colour on. And I'll just remove the juicy papaya. So that's candy apple on my lips, I'll just zoom you in. Now you can see the colour there really well in comparison to the juicy papaya. I absolutely love candy apple. Fabulous for spring summer for those days that you do want a nice pop of colour in your lips but not super intense and in your face. Really enjoy this one. Again really really easy to apply. You almost don't really need a mirror as long as you know the shape of your lip you can just go around with your finger and tidy up where you know that you're gonna miss like me. Um, <clears throat> I got these on offer. They're sort of they're reasonably priced. You're talking around the six, seven pound mark. Um, I'm not sure if they're worth paying full price for. I would only ever get them again if they're on a three for two or if it's buy one, get one free or if it's a couple of pound off. Cause I got these when they were, they were a few pound off in Superdrug when I picked these up. They're lovely, but they're really, in my opinion, in my opinion, they're a glorified lip balm, really. Um, they're lovely and soft to apply, as I said, and they do have a nice pop of colour. I would likely repurchase the Candy Apple one when it runs out. I'm not sure if I'd run out to get this one when it runs out, to be honest. It's nice. I have gradually fallen in love with it. That doesn't mean I'm going to be rushing out the door to buy it again. Something that annoys me with the packaging clearly not thought through in any way shape or form it looks fabulous until you go and screw it up you'll notice in one of the corners it's chipped because you kind of bring it up and the product clips the inside of the packaging as you twist it up how useful is that and if you look and the same happened on this one i thought maybe it was a one-off same happened on this side you can see in this corner top 
this top corner if it focuses. I twist this up you can almost see where it clips the packaging. Look at the mess of the packaging where I've had to sort of get rid of the extra product. I think that's a bit of a joke. Clearly they didn't do, I'm a software tester by day, so clearly they didn't do any kind of user testing with this at all or try and twist it up themselves. I don't know. That annoys me. You're wasting my product and ruining the luck of it. Not that I'm most idea about these things. But yeah, I really do like using them. Um, they do apply really easily. They have a nice wee pop of colour. I'm not sure if I'm going to try any more of them to see if the colour is better or worse depending on the shade. I've already seen that it's better with the candy apple than it is with the juicy papaya. So I'm guessing with the lighter shades there's not going to be a whole pile of payoff. Um, I much prefer the Maybelline Colour Sensationals. I bought those recently as well. Absolutely love those today. In fact I was wearing one of them at the start of this video. I just had a pop of sleek pipe polish over the top as well. but. Yeah, these are very handy for my handbag. They're nice wee colours, lovely for spring, summer. If you like really sort of sheer coverage and everything else, these are definitely worth trying out. I would recommend checking them out at least. I'm fine with what the two that I have. <laughs> and I have loads of Revlon Kissable Balm stains that I much prefer than these, really. Um, and I've got lip glosses and everything else sort of that give me that sheer colour color without having to buy these for sheer colour as well, you know. But if you fancy checking them out, they are good fun. And I really recommend the candy apple one. It's my favourite. This is okay. It's quite nice for, uh, as I said, those softer looks. And that's everything. So have you got them? Do you like them? Are there other colours that are fantastic? Let me know down below. So that's everything. So thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like. And if you're ever wondering what I wear these with, I do actually post up phases of the day and stuff on Instagram and um, on my Tumblr account and everything else. So I'll leave those links down below and you can check it out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.